Shalom, shalom, Israel. So, you know, I just got finished putting up a post called Stiff Neck Israel. The Shabbat is not on Saturday. And as I was writing that post, this a sister came on another post that I shared of a brother's of mine who's like a dear son to me. And um, she asked, so, and he, he also broke down the days and the nights between dusk and dawn. He broke down the Shabbats and the new moons and stuff like that. So she's saying, so is he saying that the new moon is Friday? Some, no, the Sabbath is Friday. Some, she has said it like that, right? So the spirit led me to break it down to her the correct way. Because I think the way I've been breaking this new moon Sabbath thing down to you guys, you haven't been able to understand it because it's been very confusing, especially when you find out that you may not even be looking at a real moon. Okay. So it can be very, very confusing. So this is what the spirit told me to tell you. Now you already know in Genesis where it talks about the father started his his work on the first day and he completed it on the seventh day. Well, I want to tell you this. A new moon, which is when you see the first light, not a full moon. A full moon is not the first light. That's full light. A new moon is when you see the first sign of light on a moon. Okay, so once you see the first sign of light on the moon, that means you're looking at a new moon. Okay, so when you're looking at the new moon and I'm going to tell you the difference between a new moon and a fake moon. Okay, but let's just say you're looking at a new moon. You see the moon is a slither of light. It's very small. It's like the door just cracked open he just cracked open the door okay because the moon is nothing but a portal he just cracked it open so you see a little bit of light shining out that is a new moon okay so a new moon represents a new month okay a new month is beginning so when a new month begins that means it's what the first day in the month Okay, so when you spot that first light, that means, okay, bam, this is a new month. This is the first day of the new month. Okay, now let's revert back to Genesis. Now, Genesis states that um, in the beginning, the father, let me, matter of fact, let me go to it right quick. I wasn't prepared for this. I just, just decided to do this. So let me just take it to the scripture right quick. Because I don't want to chop up the scripture and mess it all up, okay? But I want to make it for a way for you to understand this, okay? All right. So it says, in the beginning, Yahweh created the heavens and the earth, and the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep of the spirit of God. Okay, let's get down, all right, when he started to create it. All right. Uh Uh-oh, dude, my grandson's starting to cry. All right, and God saw the light, that it was good, and and Yahweh divided the light from the darkness, and Yahweh called the light day and the dayness, the darkness he called night and the evening and the morning. And Yahweh said, let there be a preferment in the midst of the waters, and let it divide the waters from from the, the waters from the waters. Hold on, I gotta pause that right quick. I gotta find a scripture. Hold on. One second. Okay, so now when you read into Genesis 1, it's not gonna say, oh, the first day he did this, the first day he did that. But if you go down, so I'm gonna start with the first day. So in the beginning, Yahweh created the heaven and the earth. So that was the first day, right? So when you go down a little bit further, when he created, let's see, man. Hold on. Uh, I think it 
was he 20? Bye. All right, so when you get down to Genesis 1 and 31, and it says, And Yahweh saw everything that he had made, and behold, it was very good. And the evening and the morning were their sixth day. So then when you go over to 2, and then it says, On the seventh day, Yahweh, this is Genesis 2 and 2, And on the seventh day, Yahweh ended his work, which he had made. And he rested on the seventh day from all his work, which he had made. So to understand this, the first day when he created the heavens and the earth, that is the first day. The first day begins on the sign of the new moon. The first light that you see that is peeking out of the new moon. Not a full moon, which is full light, but a new moon, which is the first light. Okay, the slither of light. When you spot that, you'll say, hmm, okay, so this symbolizes a new month, which is the first day Yahweh created the heavens and the earth. So now let me start counting my second day, which will be the next day. And a day is considered when the sun comes up and the night is considered dusk when the sun goes down. Okay, so the first day you see that new moon symbolize that was the first day. Okay, so then the second day will be the next day when the sun comes up. That's your second day. Okay, so then you'll count all the way till you get to the seventh day on that seventh day represents the day of rest represents it's a shabbat it's a holy day it is a day we are to worship him it is a day we're not to cook any food because in the word the scripture says okay and i can go to i can pull it up i wasn't prepared for this so give me a little bit of time all right let me pull it up for you so when you go into Exodus 16 and 23, and it said, and you can just read through Exodus 16, it'll tell you about the Shabbat. So, um, and it said, and he said unto them that this is that which the Lord hath said, tomorrow is the rest of the Holy Sabbath unto the Lord. To bake that which ye will bake today and see if that ye, it's 1049, babe. Stop for my husband to pray and see if hold up, hold up, hold up, which he will bake today and see if that ye will see if and that which remaineth over lay up for you to be kept until the morning. And they laid it up till the morning as Moses bade, and it did not stink, neither was there any worm therein. And Moses said, Eat that today for the day is the Sabbath unto the Lord and today ye shall not find it in the field. So on the sixth day, they cooked their food. Okay. They made their food. They laid it up for the next day, which was the seventh day. They ate it. They did not cook. They worshiped the father. Let's see. Right here it says Exodus 16 and 26, six days ye shall gather it, but on the seventh day, which is the Sabbath, in it there shall be none. The 27 said, and it came to pass that there went out some of the people on the seventh day for to gather, and they found none. And the Lord said unto Moses, how long refuse ye to keep my commandments and my laws? <laughs> the people were so hard headed. He told them not to go out on the seventh day. They went anyway, trying to find something and didn't find nothing. Most high had to tell the Moses, like, why y'all not keeping my commandments? I told y'all this is what it is. And y'all still ain't doing it. Just like some of y'all Israel still celebrating a Saturday Shabbat. There's no such thing as a Saturday Shabbat. There's no such thing as seven days in a week. That's not how you, how we do it. When you see the new moon that represent the first day. When you see the the full moon, that represents the last day. 
I'm trying to still figure that part out. But I really do believe that represents the last day because, to be honest, he takes his full moons away. But I'm still trying to gather this because I actually just seen a full moon. I don't know if he showed me the moon because of obedience. Because I have been really being really obedient to him lately. Worshiping him right. So sometimes he'll reward you. He just does. He do it that way. He do it that way. <laughs> he wants something he knows is going to make you happy. He'll reward you with it. So I'm still trying to figure that part out. But I do know this. And it is documented in the word. That the first day of the month is when the new moon is present. That's the first day. That's in the scripture too. Go look it up. So the new moon represents the first day. The first day. Which represents the first day he created the heavens and earth. It's not hard, people. You count the second day. The third day. The fourth day. The fifth day. The sixth day. Which is your preparation day. And then the seventh day is your rest day. It's not hard. <laughs> when you desire to be, to please him and do all the word. I mean, you know, I'm a saint. I desire to please the father and do all of his word. I desire to make him happy. I desire, even if I, he might want to do something, I don't feel like doing it. I do it anyway. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes. Because I'm not Perfect. So I can't sit up here and act like I'm perfect and being a saint is not being perfect. That's not what a saint is. Being a saint is someone who recognizes quickly that they're walking in error, meaning walking against what the father wants them to do. And then, and then, and then they decide to get it right. They decide to repent and they decide to get it right. Okay, that's what a saint is. Someone who desires to please the father when they recognize they walk in error, they do the right thing and they turn away from sin. They live a sinless life once the light bulb clicks on, once revelation is revealed, once truth is revealed to them. They desire to live a sinless life. That's what Mary did. She lived a sinless life. Was she perfect? No. You can never be perfect in a flesh. You can never be perfect in a flesh. We can desire to be perfect. We can strive for perfection. That's the difference when you're striving perfection versus when you just live in your life and doing what you want to do. But when you strive for perfection to make the father happy, that's a whole new different ball game. That means you walk in, in sainthood. <laughs> That's what Mary did. That's what Luke did. Other prophets did the same thing. They lived a sinless life once they were awakened to who they were, once they were awakened to their purpose and what they did. So with that being said, I'm giving you the light on the Shabbat. I'm telling you, there's no such thing as a Saturday Shabbat. In fact, Saturday belongs to Satan. That day was named after him. Just like they said, the planet Saturn, the red planet Saturn, you know, Satan's colors is red and black. That's why you see so many celebrities wearing black. Black represents the darkness. Red represents blood because he's a blood drinker. He kills, steals and destroys. He want to kill people. So that's why he drinks blood. That's why he loves red. So that they said that planet was, was red. And darkness and black. So Saturday is the wrong day. Satan has given you Saturday because he wants to celebrate. He wants to be the most high. But there's no such thing as a Saturday Shabbat. Okay. The Shabbat is on the seventh day after you spot the new moon, which is the first day. Count six days after that. Get to your seventh day. That is your Shabbat. It's easy. It's simple. It's stop making it hard for yourself. Stop making it harder for yourself. Okay. Now let's talk about these fake moons. Now, if you do what you're supposed to be doing and you seek in the father's face and you repent it and you sacrificing and you being obedient, you doing, you listening for his voice, you worshiping him. 
occasionally, supposed to be doing it every day, but you worshiping, worshiping the father. Um, I don't see why he not going to show you his new moon, especially when he know you looking for it. The father is aware of all of his children who is obedient, who's doing the right thing, who's trying to please him, who loves them. He is very aware of who you are. And if you doing everything that you're supposed to do and he know, oh, I'm trying to celebrate the father's Shabbat the correct way. Now, he noticed he going to show you his new moon. You're going to see it. Satan may try to show you his fake moon. Let me tell you what his fake moon look like. It's yellowish. It's very low in the atmosphere. And it's very large. <laughs> That's Satan's moon. Okay. That's his stuff. It's really, really big. It's really, really low. And the Holy Spirit won't tell you that ain't the right moon. If you ask the Holy Spirit, if Holy Spirit, is this the Father's moon? The Holy Spirit won't speak to you. You won't know. Okay? So, simple as that. So, I'm talking to the ones who got that relationship with the Father. I'm not talking to the ones who ain't got no relationship with the Father. Because you're not going to receive what I'm saying right now. All you're going to do is try to scoff everything that I'm saying. All you're going to do is try to come up against everything that I'm saying. It's bad enough that I can't, like, I got to go through hell just to even speak to y'all on an audio, on a video, honey. <laughs> they didn't shut me down. They, they shutting down the real prophets, honey. They shutting them down. They shut them down. The father still got some prophets out there that's just doing his work. He assigned them for these times. But the ones, the heavy hitters, ooh, they they shut the, they 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 gonna they gonna shut the heavy hitters down. They we bring too much revelation, too much substance, too much truth to you guys. So they're gonna make it hard for us to even speak to y'all. And I'm pretty sure I had a very hard time with getting this video out alone. I'm gonna have to pray and pray and pray. You're probably gonna have to get in some worship just to get this out to you. So with that being said. Next month, let's give the father, if we make it to next month, let's give the father a real Shabbat and let's not give him a fake Shabbat. Let's not give him a, I mean, he going, he going to take it because he already know that you don't know. But if you hear this, you know. So now you're going to be held accountable for what you know. That's why when they said, when Daniel said when he swallowed up the book, it was bitter. Truth, sweet and bitter. It's sweet because, yeah, we getting understanding, we getting knowledge, we getting wisdom, we getting truth. But it's going to be bitter because if you ignore it, you're going to be held accountable. So you know now. Hmm. It's no such thing as a Saturday Shabbat. Also, read the book of Enoch. Gives you more information on the Shabbat. Gives you more information on new moons. Gives you more information on it. But if you also need help, just reach out. We're available to answer any questions. My inbox is open. My husband's inbox is open for men. My inbox is open for women. You know. We're open. All praise to the Most High. Shalom.